What's going on everyone? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install this front license plate mount if your car does not have one. This will be uh, the steps for 2015 to 2017 Toyota Camry. Specifically this is an XSE uh, trim and it is a 2017 although I'm guessing it probably would work for the uh, 2018 on up as well. I'll list uh, a couple different part numbers in the video description if you want to look it up um, Just verify it fits your vehicle, but I'll post a couple of these if you want to buy them online So now the first thing that we have to figure out at least with this one is as you see there's these plastic tabs And there's a few different ways it can go um, in the highest position it's up here but this plastic is going to um, rub it and dig into the gloss black bumper over time, I'm sure. Not that you'll really see anything anyways because it'll be behind the bracket, but just know that it will probably wear into your bumper over time. The next step down is right here, and again, it just barely touches this strip. This is probably the best height position, if you ask me, or the one above it, but we're not looking to... Uh, rub on the bumper so we're actually going to put it in the lowest position here just sliding it in and you can kind of position it wherever you want i mean if you really wanted it to be like offset or something you could put it over here um, like euro style <laughs> but then you're going to be rubbing on this so position it how you want but for us this is dead center and in the lowest position here it just rests on like this honeycomb it's not going to rub on this or on the red lower valance so we're going to go ahead now and Make sure there's nothing behind this that we're gonna drill into. So I'm gonna pop the hood. All right, so it's a bit hard to see exactly what's behind there without removing this whole tray right here, which you could do with like a flathead screwdriver, just pop these uh, center pins up and then the outer part will pop after that. But that's a little tedious. So all I did was shine my flashlight down this gap, which you can't really see very well on camera. But if you shine a bright light down there, you can kind of see there doesn't appear to be anything um, behind there that we're going to damage when we come in with the screws so if you have this model and you put it in the same position as me we're about to find out see the picture actually shows it covering the middle part of the bumper here where it is painted but like i said we're not going to do that now it also says that there's self-tapping screws which they're really not because self-tappers have like a cutting blade before the screw part starts so i'm actually going to use a drill bit and pre-drill holes so I don't have to worry about the screws trying to walk while I'm drilling them in. According to their diagram here, they're 37 millimeters long. You'll need a 14 mil uh, is how big the washer is. They don't tell you <laughs> how big the head is. I'm guessing 3 8 or 10 mil, but you can also use a Phillips. And it says it's a six millimeter diameter, so roughly a quarter inch. Uh, so we want smaller than a quarter inch drill bit. I'll probably use uh, 3 16 or maybe one size smaller than that. All right, so I actually settled on an 11 64th drill bit. As you can see, it's a couple sizes down from quarter. 3 16 might have worked, but I like to get the screws nice and tight. And 3 16 is a little close to quarter inch. So I didn't want to strip out the screws, so I'm going to go a little smaller so it's a tighter fit. So two things really quick before we get started. Number one, once you pick your position as far as height goes, uh, what I want, what you do is look through here with a light and make sure you're not gonna be drilling a screw into like one of these ribs because that'll really throw you off. Also, even though it has these little plastic alignment uh, pins there, you can still move it a little bit, you know, up and down and side to side. So make sure you position it nice and centered however you want it to be. I'm just gonna push down on it and uh, get it centered best I can. Look in the holes, double check there's no ribs and drill my hole with the drill there. Also, um, if you want more adjustability on it or if it doesn't perfectly line up with the holes in your grill, you could probably, obviously be careful when you do this, but um, you could probably take like a razor blade and heat it up or even non-heated and trim. As you see, this is kind of a tapered piece here. Um, you could trim it down a little bit to make it fit as needed or even cut these off if you wanted because inevitably the screws are what hold it on. Those just kind of help, you know, center it. So we're gonna put it back in, enough yammering, and uh, we're gonna drill holes now. Get the drill centered best you can in the hole. And as you see, it's pretty thin. It went through very quick. So that gives you 
uh, a hint of how thin this plastic is so we can't go super tight with those screws. That's another reason why I wanted to use a smaller uh, drill bit. All right, so drop it in to them lower fingers, line up the holes and start our screws. Might have to loosen this one a little bit more. Slide the plate over a bit, there we go. All right, now just kind of move it around, give it the final adjustments. I mean, with as much wiggle room as you have and uh, finish snugging these, these down. And again, remember, it just goes into thin plastic. So once you see the plate kind of flatten out and you'll feel it tighten, once it bottoms up, just give it a little extra quarter turn, and that's all you need. Be extremely careful if you're using a ratchet, because of course you get more leverage with a ratchet than a screwdriver. And that is the finished product. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for more videos like this. Check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.